morning we're going to show ethanol gasoline and the effects of what atmospheric air does to it. Um, as you can see, there's no water in this fuel. It's just a standard fuel sample out of a boat we pulled this morning. What we're going to do is we're going to subject it to a fan. Basically what we're subjecting a boat to as um, an open vent running out of water. And all we're going to do is put this fuel, what, maybe five feet from a fan. Basically simulating what we're doing running out of water at 40 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour. Uh, what we'll see is in about 10 to 15 minutes this fuel is going to start actually making its own water. Um, simulating what a boat vent does to a boat fuel system. Okay, here we already have the effect starting. We can see the moisture rolling down the outside of the glass. It's been two minutes since the fan's been on. Um, again, simulating the effects of a boat running out of water. In our automobiles, we don't have this issue because our systems are sealed till the engine's running and the purge valve opens. Uh, the tank is totally sealed. Our boats, it is not. Um, the water droplets you see running down the outside of the glass is basically what it's pulling humidity out of the air. We can also see the outside of the glass condensing. Basically, that's the alcohol causing the coldness, uh, causing the glass to condense. Um, our old fuel would not do this because it did not have the alcohol in it. Um, this fuel would have an alcohol. It is a water attractor. Okay, this is after one hour of having a fan on this fuel. You can see down in this bottom corner, we've accumulated probably an ounce, ounce and a half of water already. Now granted, we're dealing with 16 ounces of fuel, one ounce of water already, where in a tank worth 20 gallons, you know, the accumulation is going to be doubled. As you can see, we have condensation on the outside of the glass from the ethanol, and if I wipe that off, we'll probably get a better view of the water. And I think he can probably get that in the camera. Basically what we're looking at here is this is the effects ethanol can have on your fuel. So again, the manufacturers right now are recommending put enough fuel in that you can use for the day, which goes against everything we've learned in the past to keeping the fuel tank full. Um, but keeping the fuel tank full is not going to stop this. What we're going to do is drop the water and ethanol to the bottom, petroleum goes to the top, the petroleum will evaporate making room for more water. So again, Put in the tank what we can use. Also, we want to use our ethanol stabilizer and Startron is what we're recommending right now. Um, and basically, we're trying to take this effect out of the, out of the fuel.